Welcome back to Attack on Titan Anime Review, episode number 18. Yep, for the first time in five months, we have a new episode. And damn, it was a good wait. This is just a damn good episode. Now, I don't know why Wit Studio decided to get idea to split a 20, well, possibly a 22 episode season in half. Or at least stop at the 12 episodes, take five months off, and bring the series back. Yeah, I know Witch Studio was chastised when, for, for having season two be so short when adapted only one story arc. And, people, and of course, people theorized that in the case season three, either one or two things was going to happen. Either one, it was going to be a 12 episode season, or two, it was going to be a pretty good length season, but it was going to be split in half. The second half was realized, and of course, now here we are. Five months later. And we got the Attack on Titan Season 2. So, well, Season 3, Part 2. This is the first episode. And this is technically the 50th episode of the anime. The time where everything began. Not a bad title. And also, I gotta talk about the opening title of this thing. This title, like, I love the fact that it starts out with the, with the, with the stylized beat of the original opening song. Though it kind of goes back slowly a bit. It's actually a pretty damn good song. I was not a really big fan of their the, the 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 opening theme song they had for the first half of the season. I was not a big fan of it. It felt very depressing, and it was just not that good. Not as awesome and upbeat as the first two seasons were, and yet this one was just but like it's very disappointing. And the one they have for this episode. Actually, pretty good. Yes, I got at least praise it for that. the The visuals for the, for the for the first half singles they had for the season was very good. I didn't like the song. This one, the visuals are still fantastic, and the song is a lot better. All right, what happens in the episode? Well, it starts out right where the last episode left off. We had the Survey Corps. I mean, they kind of arrived in the fort. It's basically some time has passed since, well, they left. Wall, they left Wall Rose. Yeah, I believe that when they left Wall Rose, and they were at the forest, they'll go over a mountain toward Shuas, and they walk through the forest. They also use lanterns. Yes, I'm thinking though, lanterns. When they use like fire lanterns, no, this is actually just a new invention they actually just just achieved, thanks to of course the fact that that humanity's technological advancement actually is advancing further. This is sort of like a gas lantern in a way. But well, it's more like a flashlight. The way it looks, I thought was, I thought they were holding freaking flashlights. But no, it's basically a gas lantern in a way that kind of acts like a freaking... It looks like... If you look at these lanterns, they look like train lanterns. That's kind of what these things look like. But with only one beam on them. Mm -hmm. Yet yeah, they're just walking through the forest, and of course, Aaron is basically scared. Though, Aaron, Aaron and me is going to point it out to him, of course... Yeah, of course, they have to keep his name hidden because there might be enemies nearby. And they walk through the forest, and they come across a titan. And it's sleeping. And they just walk by it. No problem. And then they arrive at Shuas. I should point out, though, this is the first time the main characters... Well, Armin, Mitsuka, and Eren. These are the first time these characters have been here since the start of the series. From their perspective, it's been five years since the fall of Walmart, and then also the first time in five years they actually have been here. As for why in the world it took so long to get here, well, they had training and preparation, though they had to be distracted by various other things, like, well, revealing that Reiner was the Armor Titan and Barnet was the Colossal Titan, and, of course, various other things. And, of course, the uprising stuff kept the link. Yeah, there was stuff kept getting in the way aside from the training stuff. But, yeah, they're finally here. Yeah, I'm sure that the, I'm sure that the creator series basically, he's been hinting at this since the Battle of Troust going to this particular town. And now they're finally here. Yep. And the first thing they do, of course, their job is simply this. They're going to search Aaron's house, and of course, they're also going to seal up the holes. They do manage to seal up one of the holes, basically the one in the outer portion of the wall, going to beyond beyond that point. Now, I should point out though, they don't mention the this in the episode that it was the armor titan, the one who actually smashed the hole that they come across before they get inside Shuas. The one on the other side that was done with the colossal titan. 
Yes, apparently everybody forgot it. Apparently, no one brings up that little factoid. Not even Aaron is like, hey, like, I swear, like, like, I'm sorry, a lot of people have not been here since basically, like, they were like, how that, like, like, who, like, I'm sure it, either one, they probably read any reports, or two, there are probably some people from this group who actually are from Shuas, aside from Aaron, Miska, and Armin. And Armin, wow, he's, he's used very well in the episode. Like, he strategizes having two groups. One search one side of the wall, they want to search the other side. To see if they're around there, okay. And then he remembers, oh, this happened also at the end of season one of the show. It was like in the manga, that the walls have got titans inside of them. So he figured, though, search the walls. Okay, not a bad idea to do. Of course, he basically started doing this, basically, because he discovered there was a campfire on top of the wall. This, of course, leads back at the end of last last episode, when he had Armin getting the crap, when he had the armor titan getting the crap beat by the beast titan. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. So... Everybody's just searching around. Aaron doesn't much of anything in this episode, just aside from sealing up one hole, which he doesn't like no problem at all. Everyone's wondering, like, now this place, excuse me, this place is supposed to crawl with titans. Where the heck are all the titans? After they see the first one, I was like, okay, everything is fine. And then Armin says, okay, let's touch inside the wall. Okay, so everyone just takes the, the butter and their sword, just taps the inside of the wall. And one of the guys actually does find there's a cavity. And it opens up, and it's Reiner! He stabs the guy right in the neck, and then you have freaking Levi hopping right off the wall, basically stabbing him like four times in the legs, and, and he stabbed right through the freaking neck. Like, wow, Levi, that's <laughs> that's overkill. And then uh, Reiner transforms into the armor titan, and he's still lying on the freaking ground. And then, like, immediately after that, a bunch of these transformations happen, and there's a boatload of titans just happily outside. And the beast titan is there. And what does he do? He picks up a boulder and throws it like he's a freaking baseball pitcher and aims right for the other hole, trapping the troops inside the freaking wall. And, of course, you have other troopers, you have other members of the Survey Corps jumping off the wall to attack the other titans on the other side of the wall. And wow, that's a good way to end the episode. I'm looking forward to next week, where it's going to basically have, for the first time since the end of season two, we have we have the attack titan versus the armor titan. And yeah, Armin's basic now. Aaron has become a much better fighter in the attack titan form, especially since he what looks like in the pre looks like he punches the armor titan. Looks like looks like knocks out part of his armor. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I haven't brought this up since the start of this series, since this interview, but those of you who don't know, the armor titan is based upon Brock Lesnar. I'm not kidding, he really is. Basically, mainly his physique and a little bit of his head. Now, in the manga, it's not really noteworthy, but in the anime, Reiner has a very striking resemblance to Brock Lesnar. Yes, I'm not sure that why no one has ever pointed this out though why in the anime Reiner has a basically look look almost a spitting image of Brock Lesnar though he doesn't do that dull no 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 he doesn't have the emotionless attitude that Brock Lesnar has in the real world yeah I don't know if Brock Lesnar himself even knows that there's a titan based on him I'm sure he probably is happy with it I'm sure he is but I don't know if anybody's ever asked him about it but who the heck knows? But yeah, fantastic episode. Looking forward to next week's episode. Okay. Now, because of the time, I have time to do one more review tonight and a review of the newest episode of One Punch Man. That'll be next, okay? But to you see the next few. Bye.